but you shall not pass. Back for the undying. First chapter, a feeling of deja vu. The party advances. A steely-eyed ranger, a brutal barbarian, a ruthless ogre, a wizardess with fiery hair, an agile elf, a wily thief, a dwarf. Well, you know, just a dwarf. Together, they have just crossed into the terrible dungeon of Nahelbuk. This dungeon's nothing to write home about. Don't know what we'll find inside here, but it stinks. That's easy. The ogre just took a dump five feet from the door. <laughs> I've got a strange feeling of deja vu. Because of the ogre shit? Have you been here before? I feel like I'd know if I had. Probably not. No one's ever got in here before. By the way, what is our quest? We must find the 12th statuette of Gladalfura. A statuette? It's written in the Tablets of Skellis that only a one-legged gnome from the northern forest, dancing by the moonlight in the middle of 12 statuettes wrapped in hair. <laughs> As I was saying, only a one-legged gnome shall open the gates of Zaral back and thus accomplish the prophecy. But what is this strange prophecy? No idea. We're only in it for the gold. That's why we came here. Yeah, and I knocked before coming in. And I called you a half-wit. Okay, ah. let's all get along, okay? Let's focus on the statuette. Do we have any idea where it's located? Like every statuette, it's in a treasure room, guarded by a powerful warlock. Battle! Hmm, maybe his powers are even greater than mine. Sounds a bit right. What kind of monsters live here? So, if you look at the random encounter table, these are the monsters in this dungeon. Several kinds of undead, giant spiders, orcs and goblins. Hey, goblins! Underground trolls, warlocks, cursed knights, mutant rats, a bottle of oil, some toilet paper, two sponges, and ravioli. I think you're also reading your shopping list. So no dragons, right? Nah, well above our level, Cap. Anyway, let us go forth. Hello, and welcome to Dungeon of Nahib. You heard the narrator. Yes, we will be using the controller so we can zoom in. Zoom out. Rotate. Great. So let's advance with our party. Halt! We arrived at a junction and must face three choices. Hmm, all those doors are closed and blocked off by a strange glowing seal. Weird. And I'm having another deja vu. Oh, shiny, pretty. Probably some kind of magic lock we have to dispel. No way we're getting fucked over by some goddamn door. My cousin Krimli always says, if it's magic, hit it harder. No, wait. That's good and badly. Wait. Head. You fucking mor- Where are they? Shit! Hey! Dwarf! Elf! Dang it! Did everybody get lost but me? What was that noise? You know, the noise of opening doors. Oh, damn it, an orc! And I'm alone, of course, I'm alone! This is the perfect opportunity to discuss the matter of combat a crucial subject when adventuring in mysterious dungeons. Open door! Gotta go! Me eat bad, go tripe! No, I I'm not done! Go away, you meanie! Well, sounds like an elf. Anyway, be cool. He's alone. This shouldn't be a problem. Every character has two action points they can perform an action and move once per turn, per turn. They can also move further by using both action points, sacrificing their action. This is spending. Order is not a problem. This means you can move to an attack or the opposite. Uh, to do this, just press right bumper to switch from movement to attack section. Now be careful, some action will end your turn, even if your character still has two, po two action points. So we can move over here. Mm hmm. Orientation, yeah, that's what we want to go for. And then we can hit him. Now we are in the attack. Okay. So we like to attack him. Yep, thank you. 
Maybe I should play it with the mouse, with mouse and keyboard after all. Wow! Okay. The orchestra from is down. Okay, you know what? No, 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 I'm changing to mouse and keyboard. Okay, he's now less efficient that he's all banged up. His precision, physical resistance, and magical resistance are worse. Great. This panel also allows you to see detailed afflictions. Here uh, it's a penalty of minus one to movement. Let's see, one is not, he is debuffed, he is weakened, okay. So let's attack him. Yes, I would like to attack him. Oh, <coughs> Mark properly. Yay! At the end of combat, all characters gain some experience. They gain a baseline share just for having participated to the combat, and a varying amount depending on their actions or their luck. A character who goes unconscious during combat will suffer a small penalty to experience gain. Great. The owner has also some health points. Heal him by giving him a potion. Well, it tastes bad. Reminds me of my granny's soup. Mm. I will. Oh, not you. Yep. Hooray! You saved me! Uh, this is... Uh, yeah, he, he's... Uh, I mean, they're gone. There were more than one? So many I couldn't even count them. But I killed one, which sent them all running. Are you alright? It was horrible. I found myself in these disgusting toilets. But where are the others? Uh, what's going on? Because of that moronic dwarf he must have triggered a magic trap. The whole party's been scattered around this floor. We need to find them. Um, how about we don't find the dwarf? <laughs> no, we'll need his axe if there are other orcs. Don't you think you could handle them by yourself? Yeah, that's... Even the greatest heroes have their limits. Anyway, let's not hang around here. Okay, and I can just move them around with my mouse. Ah, here's the thief. Yippee! Plus, he's not the dwarf. Silence! You'll get us spotted. There are orcs in this room, and they've got bows and arrows. We need to devise a plan. Okay, I got a plan. You attack them while I stand guard, just in case somebody ambushes us. Eh, sounds like something a coward would say to avoid a fight. Absolutely not. It's very rational behavior. I've got a bow, too. I can shoot arrows. Yikes! Another good reason to take cover. When you're behind an obstacle, you're less likely to get hit, even by friendly fire. Well, I've got no choice if we want to move ahead. we got to get rid of those orcs. How many are there? I can only see one of them right now, but the others must be close. I got you, a group of one. I hate people who make a fuss over nothing. When fighting alone, charging head-on is fine, but when in a group, a battle must be planned. Careful positioning can save you from crushing defeats. Yeah, being cautious around elf with a bow and arrows reminds me of one of my Warhammer sessions when where we have a medic which is also a very bulky elf with a bow. And I swear each each time it tries to shoot shoot it into a fight, it it always ends up hitting either me or anyone else in the party. Usually I get hit in the head. That's why I remember that. During the planning phase, you can deploy characters before combat starts. What can I deploy you? You can position your characters in the highlighted area. Movement doesn't cost points during the planning phase, so you can also deploy as long. Okay. So I want you to stand over here. You? Okay. Have her take cover on the highlighted tile to protect her. Full cover. I guess that means full cover. Uh, can protect you from ranged attacks. They're, they give your opponent a 50% penalty to precision. Yep. Played some of the XCOM, and I know it doesn't give us. Damn. Precision on one of the head. Yep. Here's how the order of action is determined Initiative is ranked depending on the character's courage. If their courage is equivalent, the higher agility is prioritized than all the other characters. If their levels are the same, then it's up to chance. Yeah, sure. Uh, fight. Oh, Ranger is first. 
This orc is now in overwatch, which means he's keeping an eye on the area and will attack any enemy that enters it. Since he has not moved before going into overwatch, he can make two overwatch shots. If he had moved, he would, be, he would only be able to make one shot. The ranger could move forward, but this would get him shot by the orc in overwatch. Too dangerous. Yes. If a character has not used any action point, they can delay their turn. Is that? But play at the end of the round. Okay, sure. The thief is not the toughest or even the bravest of fighters, but he can dish out a lot of damage and interfere with your foes. Time to get rid of the orc's overwatch. Miles over him to make his overwatch area appear. Okay. A character who has entered overwatch mode without moving before, like this one, can shoot twice. If a character in overwatch takes damage or, is, or if an enemy moves right next to him, the overwatch will be cancelled. I think I understand. Doing movement, you can set waypoints. Okay, great. I am trying to set waypoints. Control. Okay, like so. He's printed. The elf is a former pony grooming champion, braiding category. She's also the least bad character with a bow and has some separate skills that can be quite useful. Okay. You wanna go over here? Okay. Aiming arcs enable you to preview which targets you can reach by mousing over a tile. The color of the arcs varies depending on precision. Usually, archers cannot shoot if an enemy is of melee range. Unless the latter is knocked over some. Oh! Okay. Unless I can move. I really have to make sure that they are facing the direction. Okay, so that's my range. Yeah, no. Your range is held in red. Run the enemies within the range and held it in red. Hmm. The range of range attacks varies depending on your weapons. In some cases, since the arc is outside. Okay, so this is a range. Hmm. You have suffered 10% penalty. Okay. That. Okay. If an A card or friend or foe is adjacent to your target and in your line of sight, they will be held in orange. Meaning there's a chance your shot hits them by accident. The prob probability of this happening is equivalent to 10% of precision. Okay. Yeah. Sorry, thief. We probably gonna get this. Ah! Arnold. You can move over here. Okay, I can see how many times I'll get screwed by placing character in wrong direction. Mm, okay, so there's support. When an ally is oriented towards your target, like the thief here, they will provide you with their support. Usually support will grant you a 5% bonus to your precision. Uh, characters with high charisma will gain a high bonus to the precision for every supporting character. Your orange has 9% bonus to his precision instead of 5, thanks to his charisma. Finally, a support doesn't require an action. A character can support an attack even if they have already taken their turn for this round. Okay. So let's attack this guy. I put it out. Let's attack this guy. Please support me. And now he has to move. Take this, chicken shit! Okay, yeah, I know how the opportunity works. I play DD. left his bow. He turns on the loot by clicking take all. Can I give the book deck to her? Nope. Woohoo! We won! We did, thanks to my perfect planning. Let's keep going. The others can't be that far. Sunday. Really. Let's see, is there anything around here we can see? Okay, I can just click it and to track it. Can I move with WASD? Yep, I can. That's even better. Ah, 
finally, there you are. Yeah, well, we had to fight off hordes of orcs to get here. Bloodthirsty and cunning orcs, mind you. And you wouldn't believe the stink in those toilets. Uh, you're losing me. He says he's stuck and can't open the gate. It looks like some kind of pantry, but it's empty. He says he only had a small bite. No. I see. There must be some kind of mechanism somewhere. Levers can be far from the mechanism they activate. Investigate the room for a lever to free the ogre. You can use tab to hide any interactable object. Okay. Okay, do I have to hold it? Yep, I definitely have to hold it. Let's see some wood. What? Yes. Oh, he's injured. Why are you injured? Hold your face. Here we go, it's opening. To the body. Yippee. Aw, I'm happy too, buddy. I'd have expected him to bend the bars. He was too anxious to be on his own. Ogres are very sensitive. All the cumbersome stuff the party finds usually ends up stashed in the ogre's bag okay. because he's the strongest. Since it's rather impractical to rummage through, we've come up with an interface for you. Now I'll put the inventory, which is up here. Mm, the ogre is the one who carries all your inventory, but each card has their own equipment. Okay. Hmm. Damage, precision, critical, chance, critical, damage, okay, we know that. Uh, uh, main weapon and second weapon. Equipped Really? You want this one? Okay, I guess fine. Can I get a bit of a character? Yep, he's injured. Um, move the cursor over there to see more. He has wounded leg. Mm, Injuries are permanent attribute penalties. They can be healed with specific consumables, bandages, and first aid kit, or by resting in a tavern. You will suffer the penalty associated with the injury as long as it's not healed. Okay, so there are three wound threshold, and I guess at the third one the character just dies. Use it. Okay. Well, I found some writing materials in his bag. I should be able to map the dungeon now. The wizardess keeps the map updated. It's usually best to act as if you know where you're going. Although I'm pretty used to most players fucking around by clicking haphazardly. Hey, I feel insulted, okay? Because I do that. Who is this is in charge of the dungeon map and the quest journal? Great. Yeah, yeah, go ahead. Wait, what's that? Reinforced door. I guess only he can open this up. I hear something. Someone's coming. Go check it out. Why should it be me? Rangers are usually the scouts. Coward! Yes, sir. It's a perfectly honorable life choice. Okay, I love this character already. Time for lunch, guys! Come on! Grab time! Intruders. Let's eat them too! Maybe I could go back to the inn to ask for help. Shut up. We got no use for whips. You have to fight like everybody else. Okay, there's not really too much. Wait, can I move you up? Really? Okay, I don't want to start with her in front. But I can move them. Never mind. The ranger is jack of all trades. Ranger attacks, supports, heals. He has a lot of options. Practical skills. Charge. First, protection of all allies until the end of combat. Only one tactic, maybe at the same time. Defensive maneuver. Do they have. Hmm. Actually, it could give me those, but I think. Here, you will find this one of your skills. Every skill costs stamina and has a cool computer. You can put some stamina at the beginning of every turn. You can check the rig. Okay. And you can use tactics here. Tactic charges your offensive buff, like defense maneuver is a defensive one. Uh, yes, I wanted to use the defensive maneuver. Please use it. Hold your ground! The ogre is your most brutal character. However, he is not that accurate. That's why he could use some support from the other character. 
That's why you even put French over there. Aruga or pork. The ogre he's serving is pound. Pound? Let me see that. <laughs> the wizardess is your area of effect specialist. She's frail, but her powerful attacks can hit multiple enemies simultaneously. Okay. I think my controller just disconnected. <laughs> Uh, she has two spells, a Q minor rules and f the formidable Waza's Railway Unit. Toga, Swala, both Waza! <laughs> the thief has a sneaky strike. You can dish out a lot of damage, but only if targets physically away from you. Okay, so I'll wait. Elven ricochet will hit. <laughs> can hit them all. <sighs> sure. I made an oopsie, didn't I? Yes, you did. <laughs> oh no, he was backstabbed. That's bad. Oh no, he's gonna get hit. Oh no, he's out. Oh, you have a bow. You're willing to use that, I guess. Just a normal attack of them. They're just fine. Can we help him? Oh. Okay, help him. I can shoot from here. Magic not good! That is not good. Right. Second that are also hell. Oh, can hear that. How many do you have six? Wow, what a fight! Still, those orcs weren't in fighting shape. I think they were running from something. If that's the case, so should we. Enough defeatism. Let's go. We still have to find the dwarf and the barbarian. Okay, but let's see whether we can. No, that doesn't seem to be anything worth picking up. Oops. Come on, have a taste of my act, you orc scum. There's one dwarf yet in this dungeon who still draws breath. Yes, we'll kick your face in. You're lucky we're here. You're in over your head. Nothing's over my head. I'm tall for a dwarf. Can't deny that. Really though, why would you? Can I swap you? Oh. Wait. Let's face this way. Can I really not move you? Oh, I can. Finally. Okay, great. Sure. You go over there, you go over there, you will help him, you will help him because we can shoot. And you, please, please, you have to just face this way. Yeah, is it fine? I think? <laughs> Maybe we can tell what I hear. Another under is equipped with a second weapon, he has a new tactic. See, yeah, I know that. I don't, I'm not quite sure whether he has range for that. He does. <laughs> the barbarian is a powerful nimble fighter. He can move a little further than his companions and he hits hard. However, his protection is rather low and his precision is not that good. The good thing with the barbarian is that he's rather Straightforward. His first skill, Steel Barrage, targets all three tiles in front of him. Okay, let's use that just straight away. Ah! Okay, and then we can turn. Oh, that didn't hurt. Your enemies have skills too. Those orcs can knock you down, although there's a chance to resist thanks to your physical resistance. Okay, and he'll skip his turn, unfortunately. Our dwarf is a noble descendant of girdly shiny ass, and as such, was predestined to 
an adventurous slide. He has enough hit points to enter the chart of a rabbit troll, but it's rather slow. He loves heavy armor, shields, and gold, gold coins. He has defensive stance. Uh, it is a skill that all of your characters know, so like you can use. Okay. What is his protection? Mm -hmm. And lowers the precision of any enemy attacking you until the next turn. He cannot perform opportunity attacks. Okay. Sure. Use it. The shortest pass path for your command is blocked by the quest. Thankfully, some elements of the environment can be destroyed. Yeah, <coughs> Just go straight to help our barbarian. You just caught hit by a critical hit, and the barbarian is now unconscious. Okay, the red card is fallen unconscious in battle will suffer from an injury. Wait. Why you can go over here? She can't? Why? Oh, right. Here. <laughs> the one me. I see. Mm, go over there. No, I think I'll try to get over here. <laughs> These enemies cannot immobilize you with a crippling strike. The character can still act normal that can't move anymore. And they are easier to hit. We can't really shoot, can we? Let's beat, try spinning over here. Yeah, that'll be fine. Probably he will be able to hit her. Goof that. I really did. <laughs> okay, let's kill this one. Ooh, two crits. Nice. He has. Whoa, that's why I wanted to get rid of those guys first. <laughs> There is no reason for you to get too near, too close to him. Oh, we get into the eighty percent chance to hit. Okay, there's a chance for you to kill him. Critical failure, no. Take the battle yeah. prompts. Any time off for spring break or what? We just rest. Okay, I'm just a ah. failure. Okay, you can't move, and you can't charge, so you stay defensive, I guess. You could just... that won't kill him anyway. Okay, it will if it's, crit, if it's a crit. Uh, okay. You just shoot him. <laughs> <laughs> and our poor thief. Get a chance to do anything. She might be able to finish him. Or not. Yeah. Not happening. Might as well please stop doing that. Oh can you shoot it in here? You can. No. Please hit Retreat. Retreat. Your enemies are fleeing. They'll try to run to the yellow area uh, that just appeared. If they make it, you will earn less experience. In some battles there won't be a treaty a retreat area and they will try to fight their last breath. Poor guy, really. Oh, really, really, really. Actually, feel bad for him. 
Okay, we will stay there. Oh, we can move. We can actually move. Great. Maybe you'll get an attack of opportunity. Might as well. Give that to him. I'm sorry, there's nothing you could be doing. She can still hit him. And I think that's all hit. Again. Vital support. Okay, I don't think I'll be using that much. Mm -hmm, no, no, wait. Look out! It's a weirdo! Old dude with staff. A wizard! It looks more like a broom. Uh, hello? Hey, pay no attention to me. In fact, you shouldn't even be able to see me. It's just my invisibility ring acting up again. He's a wizard. He looks more like a janitor. That's very reductive. I'm the head cleaning operative of this dungeon's mortuary maintenance, Janos Hitor. I deal with the corpses left behind by adventurers. The smell would get unbearable without me. Akula yum yum orkum. He's just gonna eat this orc if you don't mind. I don't, as long as the floor stays clean, and it means less work for me. Ew, I'm gonna be sick! We're looking for a way to the next floor. Usually, people like to take the stairs. Yes, but there are some magic locks. Really? Didn't notice them. I must be immune thanks to a spell of mine which enables me to go wherever blood has been spilt. We could make him take it to the dungeon, master. Yes, take us with you. Nuh-uh. No time for such threats. Got work to do. A wizard. That was a wizard. He realized he should withdraw with haste. Who's this haste guy? No, no, tell me. You just did it. No, no. Okay. Any console you find can be equipped on your character's belt from your inventory. Move forward in Dark Hours of Nahil Book. Okay, but that is gonna be it for today. So, for now, thank you very much. Stay alive and see you soon. Bye!